How are you? Come on in. Nice to meet you. I'm Eddie, Rock the Mullet. This is Kevin. Stacy. This is Stacy with LA Gun. You want to wait for a couple of other guys? Or? Yeah? No, we'll just hang out and talk for a while. Yeah, we'll Have a seat. So, how you been? Busy. Yeah? So, you're just waiting for the show? Traveling, yeah. Yeah, so what, uh, how long's your tour? Uh, we um, next we go to uh, two shows in Minnesota, and then uh, we're doing Phil and I are doing something with uh, Joey Allen, Jerry Dixon, and Eric Turner, Moore, and Fred Kerr from Cinderella, like an All Star cool. Jam thing, and three days in Laughlin at the River Run Festival. So you're back in the whole rock and roll. Thing. And then we go to Northern California, and then we're going to Mexico um, in the middle of May. That's just in the next two days, you guys. Just in the next two days. He hasn't even hit the finished the weekend yet. <laughs> we like it. That's exactly. Yeah. So how do you like it with the smaller venues and the the bigger venues? You know, they're so radically different. Absolutely. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a good balance because if you do big rooms all the time, you kind of get used to that. So when you come to a how you doing? All right, Kevin. Remember how to keep up with water? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Finally got in. Oh, good, good, good. Good. We'll see you in a bit. Okay. Um, uh, would you mind if I took a picture with you, by the way? Like, no, I'm just going to finish this interview and then, um, yeah. It's all right. All right. All good. No, no okay. way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, just give me a few minutes. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Um, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's a good mix because um, it gives you a variety, you know. Right. And sometimes it feels the, more personal. Yeah, it's the more intimate shows are usually usually really, yeah, really cool. Does it, does it wear you down with the bigger venues and you just no, got I really, too, much, too, I much like, height, too much drama? Yeah. No, I like, you know, I like it all. I like playing theaters, arenas, yeah. outdoor shows, clubs, you know. Absolutely. Um, they're, they're all good. As long as there's people there, <laughs> it's good, that's good you know. Good. So who do you who do you feel is your biggest like the younger generation or the older the older crowd? Who do you think? I think it's a big bi uh, it's a big mix of all now because uh, I think in the last couple of years I've noticed a lot of more younger kids showing up to the yeah. shows, um, especially in L.A. too. Yeah, like we just sold the whiskey out. Um, well, the venues out here are a little bit more spread out, a little bit more limited, but L.A. is a world. Of right. Hardcore. Like there's these hordes of like t like they're probably 19 to 22 to 17, and they all roam in a, in a pack in Hollywood. And yeah. they're like, they're like, they look like they're right out of Hanoi Rocks. It's, <laughs> it's awesome. You, know? you miss that. <laughs> you know? So it's cool. It's really cool to see that. Absolutely. I think it's really cool to see yeah, that. That's yeah, that's bitching. So what do you, yeah. when you see all these, when you see the, the kids today, and they're mm -hmm. trying to go, the whole 80s thing, mm -hmm. and rock and roll, and wearing this, and do you wonder, do they really know the music? Are they really into it? Or well, it's, it's yeah, that's the like first thing I, uh, that comes to mind is like, how are they getting turned on to it? You know, is it like older sisters or brothers or their parents or are they finding it out on their own like are Absolutely. they you know what I mean so that's, that's kind of interesting you know when you, you kind of think of it from that aspect but um, well it's different because the whole mp3 thing and everybody's going online yeah. and they're finding more about you than what we did right when we were younger it's like you go you go to the record store you go to warehouse, yeah. And then, yeah, and then you find a magazine and you catch up right. what's in the magazine. Sometimes you buy an album. I'd buy records just the way the band looked. I mean, you Absolutely. never even heard them. You Absolutely. Know? So that mystique is gone, which kind of sucks. Yeah, I, I, miss, think I miss that old I do, yeah. too. So yeah. now today it's like people get into stuff so quick it's and out. Everything's so me immediate. But, it, you know, it's a plus for you because they can go online right now. And check out right, of course, it's, uh, and see where you're going. Right. You go to LA Guns. Good with the band, right? right? Yeah, yeah. yes, LA Guns. And see that. everything that's going on right now. Right. They can find your whole history like that. Right, and it's that quick. That's so the good that, thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> but it's good. But what do you think about the whole MP3 thing going on? People, oh man, it's, getting, it's you know, it's funny because it's like, it, like I said, the good with the bad. The good that all these young kids are getting into 80s metal. Right. But at the same time, the record industry is just in such a pitiful state right now. Yeah. I mean, even independent labels are, are hurting, you know. I, that's, I know. That's you know, a lot of my friends so in the industry. It's kind of like, you know, it's just a, 10 positions are going down to one person. Know, he's doing it's so. just a different time that we live yeah, in really. now. So. How you doing? Get in here. <laughs>